embarrassing, aren't you? <laughs> Why? My ebulence last time. You're funny. Uh, right, you know what? Can I stand up? Do you mind if I don't sit down? What? Is that a problem? Um, can I forget an update? Because last time we were talking, the album was just about to come out, and you said, well, this is like, if it's brilliant, it's brilliant, if it's not, you know, whatever. But it's been really, really successful. How do you feel now that it has been so successful? Um, I'm just delighted. I'm just really happy. Now, obviously, I was at the position last year and I was thinking, you know, it could go either way, and I was really conscious of that. And I think, in a way, that's really good for me to, to feel that, you know, really genuinely that, you know, you can't take anything for granted. So when it does go well, I'm really, I mean, I feel really proud that people have really accepted what I've done. And um, I'm lucky. And, you know, I love being creative, and I feel that. At the end of the day, I'm in a privileged position because everybody has um, artistic expression in them that they want to, you know, be able to unleash. And I've had the opportunity to do that. I mean, yesterday I was making my fourth video, and just thought, wow, this is just great. What could have done? It's having such it's so much fun at the same time. And here I am in a Versace dress, which is not made for girls with uh, rather large on top and. I had to sellotape <laughs> that I'm going to have to words with Donatella Versace and say, please, you know, we're not all stick thin girls. It was a, a very it's tricky a challenge. Dress. You must have a story then about when you saw it in the room. Oh, no, it was just basically I was walking along in Milan and um, the shops were closed and I saw it. And um, I thought, oh, you know, when I fell in love with it. And the next day, because I know no no, it's a one hour from Kiki. And uh, I didn't really want to figure out what was I doing to use it. But I'm not sure they've been very happy with us because <laughs> we've been like picking it from <laughs> from cellar tape and all sorts of information to make it stay up. But it looks fabulous. Thank you very and much. And did you do the I am I am Jerry Halliwell. You no, I let me have this. No, though. no. At the end of the day, you know, I need a frock to wear and you know, I was quite, you know, Happy to pay for it. You do, do not give that kind of that kind of good designer piece. You know, you kind I don't actually. That, it's quite a first for me. You know, designers you know do you know offer their clothing for videos, and I, you know, which is great. But I, I never want to be a slave to fashion in that sense. If something is nice, I I like it, and um, so you know if it's something that if it's from a, a market store, I like it. If it's from a designer and it's got something about it, I can't wear it, really. It's a bit more of an American way, isn't it, perhaps, to be a designer as well? Well, I think, you know, you should, I mean, the way I dress is more instinctively. Maybe sometimes you get it wrong, sometimes you get it right. And, you know, it's great to have the money to be able to buy, buy designer clothes, but a lot of people can't afford designer clothes. You know, and obviously you get a better fit and you get one off. But actually, sometimes you end up with all in the same dresses because everybody thinks, well, what should I wear? Let's all go down to Gucci. And there's five Gucci dresses the same and, you know, five people in the spotlight all in it. But I've seen, there's only one other person that's worn this dress and she's a lot taller and a lot skinnier than me. <laughs> down a <laughs> runway. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's like a mermaid look. It's a mermaid look. <laughs> So I want to talk about your single, obviously. Yeah. We haven't got much time. You have to get the single in. This is the fourth single off the album. Yeah, it's called Bag It Up. Tell me all about it. Well, Bag It Up is basically about um, the differences between the opposite sex. You know, males and females, we have a lot in common, but we are different in certain respects. And it's kind of taking the mickey out of that. The video is really takes on the world, the world of consumerism and girl powder. Try this and your life will be better. And it really, you know, we kind of do play on role reversals and relationships, how you know, one minute he loves you more than he lo you love him, a kind of push and pull of relationships. I really laugh at, about it. I think everyone's going to really find it extremely funny, the video. I think it's important to have a sense of humor. And this song for me, Bag It Up, is you know, kind of the party song. At the end of a really good year, I've had, you know, I feel really proud. And this one is just like, come on, girls. You know what to do now, you're in control. And that sense of humour about relationships, is that very much you? You don't take it all too seriously? I think you can't take life seriously. You know, I think 
try to do the comedies and the only way to get through you know, sad times in life, you've got to laugh. It's the best remedy in the world. Sometimes the worst situations, you find yourself thinking, what can I do? You've got to laugh at yourself, most importantly, I think. Because yeah, life is so short, it really is. And last question, the video takes your foot off. Is this the one where the video no. Or no, no, everyone's not. <laughs> Put it this way. You know girls wear high heel shoes and they're quite painful. So we turn the table and make boys wear <laughs> There's all sorts going on. I don't want to give the game away, but I think it's a must see just for the ooh ah factor. It's a little bit risky. Mm, sounds Cheeky. Like but so thank you to everybody that supported me. It's been great. It's been brilliant. So thanks very much. Thank you. Okay, can you stop please now? Yeah.